transform position, keyframe it, and go back when you want it to start. So that starts at two, it comes in there. And the position should be down. And because it's below the red solid and the opening title, uh, it would appear above it, like so. So there we have, we've got the opening title. Uh, quite basic, quite tedious as well at the same time. And so that takes up three seconds. We'll leave that to about five seconds, I'll say. And we'll take a look at what happens next. So we've got the opening title. Uh, a red solid flies up and then gets overrided by the kind of cream solid. And so I'll quickly make that transition now. So we'll go file, new, solid. And we're going to make this solid exactly the same as that red one as we just made. Okay. And what's going to happen to this one? In fact, no, we're not going to make it the same. We're going to duplicate the original red. Just hit, make sure you've got red selected, Control D or Command D rather. Uh, Mac or PC. Uh, delete the position keyframes. You don't want them. You don't need that same transition to happen. However, make it to the top so it's overriding everything underneath it. Push it forward just a little bit. And so it should come in, and I'll say about five seconds. So we've got five seconds of the opening title. And with there being uh, th three titles and a finisher, uh, four seconds, well, four titles, five seconds, 20 seconds long, uh, seems about right. And so the red comes in here. Uh, we're going to lower the scale just a little bit so it's still lined up. Okay, and so we're going to make it long ways like this, and we're going to make sure it lines up. If we make it here and go to position keyframe, and then go to about five and a half seconds, and push it up diagonal like there, you see that the red solid comes and overrides. And so now you want to do this with the vice versa cream solid. Excuse me. Here. <coughs> Add control D yeah, on that solid. And we'll go to um, effect generate fill. And we'll tick and we'll click this little yellow tab down here and it will fill it with the same yellow. And so we're going to delete these keyframes. We're going to delete the second one, in fact. The second one, yeah, the second one, and so it starts. The cream should start from up here, maybe start just a little bit later. So, when when the red starts to come in, uh, that's all right, and then by about five and a half, the cream overrides, so that should work out. So the red comes in and is overtaken by the cream. And uh, that's okay. So that's the first tile sorted. So that gives the effect that it, it's all been wiped away. Uh, very nice. Um, I'll change the color of this uh, to yellow, just so you can kind of get an idea that the yellow box, uh, very good idea. So when you're looking uh, what's what, it's a strong indication so you don't get confused. And so once you've got them overriding, uh, we've got second tile coming in. So first things first, make a new solid. In fact, no, we'll make text first, we'll do the text. And this should start, uh, I'd say about six seconds. So the text is gonna be second. Uh, I'm gonna chain now. I'm gonna leave that light now for now. Uh, delete this empty text layer on the second. Zoom in just a touch, make this quite a lot bigger, like so. So it should come in and look something like that. Then, if we make another new solid, and um, what color is this? We'll take a look. Uh, so it's again another red solid. So we'll keep the red and we'll just lower the size 
like so, just so it fits up the second text. And then on second, we'll change the color to exactly the same as the background cream. Okay. And then make it above that red solid so it shows up just above. And so the text is the right size. And so we want to make the deep, the red background layer just about fit like so. So that is looking good. We'll increase the second layer. So by when that comes in, like so, the second starts about there. And also the deep red should start about there also. And if we keyframe about six and a half seconds on the deep, on the red solid that comes across, position and then just before at the start of that hold shift so it's straight it goes before so that way it will slide inwards releasing the second um, maybe in fact decrease the scale on this just a touch and in fact not so much the scale but the position rather just so the second just fits on there we go so the second comes in <coughs> apologies I have a sore throat at the moment I don't know if you can tell uh, I'll move this paragraph so you can see more of the time frame uh, so the second comes in and you notice there's also a green box that flies in at the same time what's happening there there we go so the second comes in yeah, on the deep red uh, we'll control uh, we'll no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll make a new, another new solid. So a file new solid, and we'll make this one a nice kind of darkish green. Okay, and okay, and again we'll just sincerely lower the scale, and this just comes under it, like so. A lot smaller than that, and again we're going to follow this pretty much the similar. Animation. Uh, let's go fit up to 100% here. So the second starts there. I want the green to start just before it. So about there. In fact, now it's going to have to be. I'll make it so it starts just after. Uh, okay, so we'll see how it finishes. And that's where I want the green to end up. So I just go on the transform and leave it like that and so I want the position uh, to be keyframed so it flies in for about six and three quarters seconds